Hi there, it's John with Inspectflix, and this video is a history lesson on the evolution of construction. I'm at a house right now that was built in 1891, and the topic is going to be gravity furnaces that were referred to as the octopus furnace. It was one of the first furnaces that were uh, installed uh, over 100 years ago. Uh, the first heating system, actually, in uh, indoor construction was obviously a fireplace. Uh, and as time evolved, a uh, wood stove came about, which was good and convenient for cooking and for heating areas. However, there were zones, so you had to maintain fires in each every room that you went into. So uh, finally, in uh, 1885, the first gravity furnace was invented. And uh, basically what they would do is install ductwork into the rooms that would move the air from the furnace to those rooms. Um, right here behind me, you'll see an example, um, and uh, you'll notice the name brand on the front of this thing is Kalamazoo, so obviously I'm in Kalamazoo, Michigan. Um, so this house that was built in 1890s, this, there's a very good chance that this is the original furnace still in use. It has a gas line, and it has a gas control uh, converter kit down here. These were installed later on afterwards, um, so gas didn't exist. And these octopus furnaces did not require electricity. Uh, you simply just stuck coal right inside the front door hatch here. So, as you can see, you're looking inside the chamber here. Um, this is the burner uh, area inside the heat exchanger. These things were built like tanks. And the heat exchangers were so thick that they wouldn't crack. However, the carbon monoxide can leak out of the seams uh, internally and externally on this. Um, so that's one safety issue, is how they burned. The coal itself that was used back in those days were very sooty and dirty. The next issue that you typically have with gravity furnaces is a lot of times they would use asbestos on the ductwork and also on the chamber uh, of the housing around the heat exchanger of the gravity furnace. You'll notice there's some uh, insulation on the top, and a lot of times that would contain the asbestos. Back in the 90s when I was doing inspections, these were quite common still by once a month I would come across gravity furnaces and I've seen them put dirt and gravel on top and what the asbestos and the, uh, the retention here is to do is to maintain the heat and keep the heat inside this area. Some of these things would get so out of control with heat that it would actually start to scorch the lumber uh, above on the structural framing. So again, with the ductwork, having this white uh, material that's around this ductwork and the size of the ductworks, this would actually have to be removed and mitigated because asbestos is lung cancer causing if you breathe it in. Uh, if you disturb the material and it becomes dust format uh, and you breathe it in, um, it is not a good situation.